Hey everyone, my name is Alicia and today we're going to go over how to actually generate PDF reports as well as PowerPoints based off some simple sales data, data that I had Julius make up. So first we're going to upload, I already have it into my files which is really good, so then I'm going to ask. I also want to make mention about this cute little file preview section here, it actually tells you a little bit about it, but I always like to ask Julius to preview it myself so when it brings it in. So. I'm actually working in Python, so this is good. Uh, you can change it to R if you'd like, but I'm going to just stay in Python here, and we're going to watch how <laughs> Julius brings in my sales data set. Okay, great. So we have a date, uh, a product, so our product is what we're going to be focusing on. We have sales, region, and price. And for the date, we can see we have competitor, competitor A, B, and C. And then for each region, we have west, south, east, north, etc. So a little bit about this data set is that it's basically, uh, I want to look at how our product is faring in comparison to other different um, competitors. And then I also want to project the sales afterwards to see how well our product is going to do in the future. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to ask it, or Julius, to anal analyze the performance. I have absolutely no commas in that, <laughs> but the good thing is, is that it can understand what's going on. So here we have the competitors our versus our product. We have the total sales. You can see that we actually have a very good amount of total sales compared to the other products. We have the average sales, and then we have the market share as a percentage. So then our next question is going to be... So I'm just telling the specific pro, uh, model I would like it to use because it might it might have tried the heuristic model, but we can't use that because their data does not is not seasonal data. So we're going to see what it comes up with in predicting the forecasted sales of our product. It's going to do that. Great. This is a lovely graph. So we can see that there's a slight dip in this trend here. So I kind of want to talk or ask Julius a little bit more about what is happening there and if we should be concerned about it. So what I'm gonna ask Julius to do. Okay, so let's see. Slight decrease in sales. So now I want it to forecast, or now I would like it to plot the forecasted sales data by the date so we can see this. So we see that there is indeed a little bit of a dip. So my next question is, so I'm just asking for the mean difference because I want to see how much our sales are decreasing in price over this year. And if we need to amp up or change our market style or how we are advertising our sales. So we can see the mean difference is very, very slight, but it is there. So we could probably look into stuff or different advertising campaigns to hopefully allow us to forecast our sales or sorry, to increase the forecast of our sales. Okay, so now my next question is. So I'm just asking Julius to create a PDF report and have the following sublines, or sorry, uh, chapters, I guess, so that I can show this to my superior and then tell them what exactly I found. So Julius should ex execute this code and should hopefully create a lovely PDF document on our report. So it has created a PDF and we can click on here to download it. Awesome. So it has been into my downloads and as you can see, it's created a nice sales forecast report. It has a small introduction, has some sales metric. It has a sales forecast here, a trend analysis, and then a little bit of a, conclu a conclusion. So now I'm just asking you to create a PowerPoint of the findings that we had and it should give me some kind of idea or some kind of outline that I can follow when I would like to create the PowerPoint myself. And I can click on here to download it. So as you can see, we have the sales analysis and forecast. We get a brief overview of each of the different slides that it made. 
but this is just an example of what Julius can do with your data set. So thank you for coming to my tutorial on how to use Julius to create PDF reports and also PowerPoints uh, for analyzing market or sales data.